Welcome everybody here to your grand final of the defense. I'm your host as always, Toby Wan Kenobi, but not as always, I get to be joined live here in the studio for special occasions such as the defense grand final with a very good friend of mine, Cinder Man. How you doing today? You feeling pumped up for this match? Yeah, I'm really pumped up for this, of course. We've been waiting for this for a while, this best of five grand finals, and now we're finally going to get it. Virtus Pro against Fnatic EU. Uh, the expert panel has given a lot of opinions on this, and I think, yep. if I remember correctly, three to one favor Fnatic to win this one, if I remember that's, correctly. That's what I was hearing too, man. And I think a lot of people would be favoring Fnatic. Like, I know we've been talking about this beforehand, saying that VP changes up, maybe not as stable as they have been looking in the past, but especially with their recent roster changes. And Fnatic EU, they've been looking pretty good. Apart from the small holiday of the main drafter, uh, they've been looking pretty stable as well. So I'm looking forward to this one, guys. I know you guys Top. The action's actually going on. They will get no tail. Trade off is probably going to be NF NS if Era can get one more Lance out. We'll do that here. So, one for one trade with the first blood. Back down here. And even then, starts farming up elsewhere. Nice on here from No Tail. Ilan put it a little bit too close with the last two as well. Prop Solomon. There is going to be enough damage. They bring down the Weaver, but in return, the line also goes down. NS already with a the pickup. They've already used their stun, or maybe not. Not much. Yeah, but we're seeing the oh. and we're seeing the gank as well. They're gonna TP in with the dust here, catching in Trixie. He does have a quelling blade. It's the <laughs> wrong tree! Oh, just the last hit. What they looking for him, so he throws the track out, wants to see where Arsard is, but now he's also out of invis. Five more seconds before he can throw it. Illidan has managed to TP himself down here. As a five-man push, a bit of a steal from Fly, ended up stealing the slave, but then gets instantly nuked down. Laguna Blade beats Finger of Death at speed, or maybe that's also the reason. No tell DC'd out. For that this early on. No Blink Dagger, no BK3, more of a combat-oriented build. Hani is standing completely still. He got nice impale. Impale from no, from no tell, just not enough though. The TP support did come in, however, so crazy. There's a little bit of trouble, but then a great double stun from Arstart, as well as the follow-up from the Lena. Now Trixie's also in trouble. It's not only going to be the two heroes supporting in, but it's going to be the two heroes done. But it's back in the mix. Yep, they'll keep going in. KSI pushing in forward, wants to attack on the racks, got an army of trees to do it. But they do have one problem though, that Diffuser Blade is up on the PL. So the more PLs they get, the less mana. And again, Arsan jumps straight in, Puck with the ulti, as well as the silence already. Two heroes gonna go down, making a third one. If it wasn't a three-man fight by No-Tail, gets the finger off, fly to follow up with a Fade Bolt. Now two heroes lost for Virtus Pro. TA trap on all three, the extra slave damage. Crazy, wonderful phase shift, evades Hani. Hani with no blink that blink because he went the Yasha. So a quick silence by Crazy. Then runs himself away. He doesn't want another trap, but now he'll have to take it. NS looks for the stun. Try CP out. Shuri Toss will cancel it. And now Fnatic claim a couple of kills and a couple of them being tracked as well. But do they lose the racks? No, they don't. Just something they might as well call the game. This, if they don't try to fight with Spro in these scenarios, oh. here we go. Oh, nice initiation here, actually. Double stun again. Coming out from NS. 
absolutely perfect with the dual stun. Tani pops the BKB to turn an attack, and again he's focusing on Arsan, while it's Illidan almost going down, able to time up itself back out again. The sentries are down, Ira's in trouble, Hexed up, Orb will fly, Ira on the sidelines, straight movement up from Crazy. He'll find No-Tail as well as getting that silence out on